Lithium by Nirvana. They tune down a full step. I'm not doing it like that. I'm tuning, doing it in standard tuning. When they play it live, when they played it live, excuse me, he's dead. <laughs> That's an awful way to start the video. Many moons ago, when Nirvana used to perform this song live, they would sometimes be tuned down a full step, sometimes tuned down a half step, maybe even in standard tuning sometime. I'm not really sure what prompted the tuning decisions night to night. Regardless, it gives us a great excuse just to learn it in standard tuning. So no detuning necessary at this moment in time. First thing we're going to do is we're going to learn this main riff that they use for the verse and they basically use it for the chorus. It goes like this. Starts off with an E power chord, top string open, and then put your pointer finger on the second fret of the second string from the top, and then also have your pointer finger flatten out and play the second fret on the third string from the top. Now the great news is it's totally fine if your pointer finger mutes the bottom three strings. For this whole song, we can have the bottom two or three strings muted the whole time, and that's great. In fact, we would like them to be muted. So once you get this little one finger chord in place, you're gonna play the top string by itself, then you're gonna strum the next two strings. Uh, for this whole song, you can kind of alternate when you strum down or when you strum up, but you also can pretty much get away just playing down the whole time. So I'm going to kind of leave it up to you and I'm going to do kind of a mix. If there's a part where it seems confusing, I'll, I'll walk you through it. But for right now, we're going top string, then the next two strings. Boom, bow, three, four. Top, strum. Top, strum. Great. Then you're going to play the top string open again. Then go to the fourth fret on the top string. So that goes like this. When we put it all together, we've got top, strum, zero, four. Again, top, strum, zero, four. One more time, and top, strum, zero, four. Great. At this point, we have to get another power chord in place. Now, you're like, Stuart, you keep talking about power chords. I'm not sure I'm entirely sure what a power chord is. A power chord is just this really simple, guitar chord shape where your hands are in these certain configurate the certain configuration and you just move it around from spot to spot but keeping the same shape with your hand it's very useful if you're not familiar with power chords it'll take a little bit of getting used to it can be frustrating for a little while before too long you're gonna you're gonna love it it's gonna make your whole sunny day even sunnier um so the basic power chord shape put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the top string Put your ring finger on the sixth fret of the second string from the top. Now, here's where things you, you have to make a decision. The way I usually play power chords is I go pointer finger, then ring finger on the sixth fret of the next string, and then pinky on the sixth fret of the next string. I typically use three fingers like that. It goes four, six, six for this specific power chord. The way Kurt Cobain played the power chords is he would just flatten out his ring finger so that it would play the sixth fret on both of those two second strings. He'd go four, then six, six with the ring finger. Now, the good thing about this is it's only two fingers you have to worry about. The bad news is that it's really easy for the ring finger to flatten out too much and hit an extra string. And then instead of you just hearing these three notes, you end up hearing four notes. Um, that, I'm, I'm spending way too long on this, but here's what I'm trying to say. If you would like a very clean, crisp sounding power chord, I recommend using three fingers, pointer, ring, and pinky. If you would like to get that Nirvana sound where sometimes an extra little note sneaks in there, then just use pointer finger and ring finger and flatten your ring finger out. I'll probably use a mix of both as we're playing this song, but now, now you know. So, so there you go. Uh, really useful information. Hi, my name's Stuart. Like and subscribe to the channel, which is called Marin Music Center, even though I always say, welcome to Guitar Lessons with Stuart. It make, the whole thing makes no sense. Okay. So here's what happens. We've got our little first part, our top string strum, top string fourth fret, and then get your power chord ready because then right after you play that fourth fret on the top string, you're gonna play the second two strings with your ring finger on the sixth fret or the two fingers. I'm, okay, I'm done, I'm done talking about that. So it goes like this. Oh. Let's do it one more time. One, two, very slowly. Top, 
strum, top, four, strum, hey! Okay, what happens next? Then you play the top string open again, then play a power chord on the fourth fret of the second string. So what do I mean by that? It means you put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the second string, like I just said, and then put the sixth fret on the third string from the top and the third string from the bottom, like that. See, so there's a three finger version. The two finger version would be like that. You're gonna play the second string from the top and then you're gonna strum the next two strings. So we just did this. That's all there is to it, guys. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four. And top, strum, top, four, strum, top, four, six. Uh! Back to the top string open again. And then you're gonna do a power chord on the fifth fret of the top string. So that's five, seven, and seven. And you're gonna go like this. So that one, I'm playing the notes of that power chord one at a time, playing top string open, fifth fret on the top, seventh fret on the second string from the top, pinky on the sore, whatever, shut up. Uh, then play the seventh fret on the third string from the top. Okay, I think we're doing okay. Let's play it from the beginning. One, two, three, four. <sighs> now! You're gonna play a power chord on the third fret of the second string from the top. Can you figure that out on your own? What do I mean by power chord on the third fret of the second string from the top? I'm gonna give you just a second to figure it out. All right, you got it? Does it look like this? Is it third fret on the second string from the top and then fifth fret on the third from the top and fifth fret on the third from the bottom? If that's it, then you win, you did it. You're gonna go like this. You're gonna, on that chord, you're gonna strum down, down, then strum it again, but as you're strumming it, slide it up to the fifth fret. So it's. So I just took my whole hand, I moved it one, two frets over. So now pointer fingers on five, ring fingers on seven, pinkies on seven. Then go down to the second fret and do a power chord. So that's second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret, and go bam. You're gonna go two, two, then slide up to five. I, I feel like I'm not explaining anything. Oh, it's one of those days, you guys. Uh, one more little tidbit of information before we play through the whole verse, because that's the whole verse. Whenever I'm playing a power chord where the root note, when I say root note, I just mean that pointer finger note. Whenever the root note is on the second string from the top, I try to get the tip of my pointer finger to just touch that top string to mute it. Because we don't, we don't want to hear that top string if the root note is on the second string from the top. Let's play the whole verse very slowly. One, two, three, four. That's the verse riff, guys. They do it once without any singing. Then they do it four times with singing. Now there's one other thing I have to tell you about the verse. It's actually two things I have to tell you about the verse. Number one, we would like the verse, the whole verse to be slightly palm muted. So that means you take this part of your hand right here and you just ever so gently set it right here, right at the edge of the strings, like where it's barely even touching the strings. And sometimes when you strum, your hand's gonna come off and you're just gonna get the ringy sound, but but for a lot of it, we're gonna get that, that slightly muted sound. That's an example of what it sounds like. Okay. So we do that once without singing. We do it four times with singing. Guys, I forgot something very important. It's not important at all, but I feel like I need to mention. Now, in the intro to the song, he does exactly what I just said. 
But as soon as he starts singing, whenever he's singing for that end part, he goes like this. He goes three, five, two, D. He goes to a D chord, you guys. A D is second fret on the bottom, third fret second from the bottom. Point our finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Mute the top string. So instead of going up to five, he just plays a D chord, but only when he's singing and only during the verse. Then we get to the chorus. This is where he sings, yeah, 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 yeah. For the chorus, it's going to be the same power chords that we did for the verse. The difference is instead of playing like specific strings like we've been doing, we're going to do str Oh, I forgot. I was going to tell you a whole other thing about the verse. The other thing about the verse is as he plays it over and over again, he, he changes like... He never changes the actual chords he's playing, but he will sometimes add little changes in the rhythm or maybe he'll hit an extra string or he'll hit things in a slightly different like orientation or whatever. I don't know what that means. But the, the point, the moral of this story is it's okay if it's not 100% exactly the same every time you play it. That's the gist of what we're going for. Okay, now we can go back to the chorus. Don't you love it when I just jump from one section back to another one and then go back here and now you're just like, I don't even know what part of the video we're at anymore. What was I, I was talking about the chorus. It's the same power chords, but instead of doing the little intricate little boom, chick, we're just going bow, 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 That was smells like King Spirit right there. We're just, we're just strumming each chord. He turns on the distortion. I'm not going to put on distortion. It would be too powerful. You wouldn't be able to handle it. Let me just play the chorus for you. We go. first power chord. Remember that? You're just going to strum down, down. Basically, for all of these, you can basically just go down, down, down. If you go down, down, down on each chord, you're going to be set. It's down, down, down. Then go to the second power chord, which is one on the fourth fret of the top string. Down, down, down. Then fourth fret on the second string. Down, down, down. Fifth fret on the top string. Down, down, down. Then go to the third fret on the second string from the top. On this one, you're gonna go down, 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 bop, bop, bow on the fifth fret, then second fret, five, five, five. On those ones, I'm always doing that little slide. I'm going three, three, slide, five, 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 and two, two, slide, five, five, five. One more thing I need to mention, and this is, this is, I mean, like the things I'm saying are accurate, but I'm just, I'm not making it easy at all. I'm making you fight me to, to learn the information. As you switch chords, when you go down, down, down on that last strum down, you can actually strum the open strings as you're switching to the next power chord. Observe, I'm gonna do it very slowly. If I go. I strummed the open strings between like every chord. It sounded a little weird because I was accenting it and I was doing it slowly. But now let me play at normal speed with those open strums. You're going to be like, hey, Stuart, that doesn't sound too bad. One, two, three, four. Wait, that was too, way too slow. One, two, here we go. That's way too fast. What's happening? I'm just going to start. You see what I'm saying. So anyway, he plays that, not once, not twice, but trace times in a row. It's Spanish for three. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Then he goes right back to the verse. He does the verse four times. I'm saying he. I mean, there's, there's multiple people in the band, you guys. Kurt Cobain, David Growl, and Chris Nelsel and Nelsendelik. Now, they do the verse four times. Then they do the, they go back to the chorus and they play that chorus riff three times again. What's a riff? A riff is just like a short, repeated guitar part. Usually rhythmic. Short, rhythmic, repeated guitar part. 
Okay, then they go to the bridge. The bridge goes like this. It goes... Not too bad. Look, look. An A power chord. Here's what's happening. My thumb is muting the top string. Then I have the second string from the top open. And then I have my pointer finger playing the second fret on the third string from the top and the fourth string from the top. I just strum that down, 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 down again. But on that last down, guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and lift up my fingers to get ready for the next chord. So I end up playing the open strings. Then I'm playing a power chord on the third fret of the second string from the top. So that's pointer finger, third fret, second string from the top. And then whatever fingers you wanna use on the fifth fret of the third from the top and the fourth from the top. So it's going. On this chord, this this C power chord, the third fret power chord, I'm strumming down, down, down. I don't know for sure that's what he does because he's got all the distortion and everything, but I'm going. So you do that, you go eh, uh, and ba, ba, ba. Then you go back to this chord, ba, 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 ba. And but the second time when you go to the third fret power chord, just play it once. Then on the top string, play zero, three, four. So that was like this. It was pow, pow, and pow, 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 and pow, pow, and pow, zero, three, four, pow, 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 Play with me. One and two and one, two, three, four. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, good. All right, they play that eight times. Eight times they play that riff. And then we get to the end of the bridge, which goes like this. Almost, I think that ending was a little weird. Look, we go like this. Fifth fret on the second string power chord. So that's five on the second from the top, then seven and seven. We're gonna strum just down on that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Then you're gonna slide it over one, two, three frets. So now it's a second. Now it's a second fret on the second string power chord. You're gonna strum this five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then on the top string, play zero, three, zero, and then play zero one more time. So that's. Let's do that together a little slower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, zero, three, zero, zero. At this point in time, the bass plays this little solo. It goes. I used to know that part. Oh well. Uh, so what you can do here is you can just rest. You can just not not play, or you can just go back to the regular verse riff. And that the bass does it all by itself once, or you can sit in for the bass and take control of it. Sit in for it and take control of it. That means nothing. Then you just do the verse riff four more times. The verse riff, of course, is. Played it so many times today. Then we go back to the chorus. You do the chorus riff three times. That was the. And then we go back to the bridge and we do the entire bridge again. That was the. We do that whole. We do it eight more times, guys. We do that whole ending thing that. But then the way the song ends is we play zero three on top, give that three a little bend, and then play an E power chord, the same chord we started with at the very beginning of the song, right on the beat. So the en very ending goes like this, it goes, yeah, yeah. And that's how you play Lithium by Nirvana. I think it was, I think, I think it was fine. We talked about the parts, we did the things, we're, we're good.